granuloma annulare is a dermatological condition look at this picture skin batches a detail going on introduction granuloma annulare is a benign chronic dermatological condition characterized by raised ring shaped lesions of the skin although the exact cause is unknown the condition is generally self limiting and can affect individuals of all ages etymology the term granuloma annulare derive from latin with granuloma refers to small grains like inflammatory model and annuloma meaning ring shaped describing the characteristic circular lesions this name refers the conditions hallmark feature raised ring like areas of inflammation often seen on the skin a definition granuloma annulare is a granulomatous inflammatory disorder that particularly affects the dermis leaning to annular plugs or papers these lesions are typically asymptomatic but may occasionally cause mild itching or discomfort types granuloma annulare is characterized into following types one localized the most common type presenting a small firm ring shaped lesion typically on the hands feet wrists or ankles two generalized affects a large area of the body with multiple lesions often coalescing three subcutaneous found mainly in children presenting as Firm, painless nodules beneath the skin. Four, perforating, characterized by lesions that may oozy, crust, leading to the extraction of necrotic material. Five, batch types. appears as erythematous or skin colored patches without the typical ring shape causes or an exact etymology of granuloma annulare remains unclear but possible causes include 
1. Immune system dysfunction 2. Genetic predisposition 3. Trauma or insect bites 4. Certain infections such as Epstein Bar virus 5. Association with systemic disease like diabetes, mellitus, or thyroid disorders. Risk factors 1. Age Most common in children and young adults. 2. Gender More prevalent in females. Personal or family history of autoimmune diseases. 3. Diabetes or other systemic conditions. Complications Granuloma annulori is generally benign and self limiting. However, complications may include 1. Persistent or recurrent lessons. 2. Psychological impact due to visible skin changes. 3. Rare association with underlying systemic conditions or diseases. 1. Granuloma annulori involves a localized immune response characterized by 1. T-cell mediated inflammation 2. Degeneration of collagen in the dermis 3. Formation of granulomas due to the clustering of macrophages for overproduction of cystokines and immune cells leading to tissue changes. The pathophysiology of granuloma annulori involves a series of immune and inflammatory process leading to characteristic skin changes here step by step overview 1 triggering event 2 immune activation 3 microphage and cystokine release 4 granuloma formation 5 collagen degeneration necrobiosis 6 accumulation of mucin 7 formation of annular lesions the inflammatory process is often self Limited creating annular ring like flocks as inflammation spread outward while central areas begins to resolve. 8. Chronic or recurring inflammation. In some cases, the immune response persists leading to chronic lessons or recurrent episodes of GA. This stepwise immune and inflammatory reactions underlies the clinical and histological features of granuloma annulora. However, the exact Initiating factors and reasons for persistence 
in some individuals remains poorly understood. Signs and Symptoms 1. Annular prox, often pink, red skin color. 2. Mild itching or asymptomatic presentation. 3. Lessons, typically on extremities but may occur anywhere on the body. 4. Subcutaneous nodules in children. Diagnosis 1. Clinical examination based on characteristics appearance of lessons. 2. Skin biopsy confirm diagnosis by identifying granulomatous inflammation and collagen degeneration. 3. Laboratory tests rule out associated conditions such as diabetes or thyroid abnormalities. For differential diagnosis, exclude conditions like tinny, corporis, psoriasis or scariodosis. Nursing diagnosis 1. Impaired skin integrity related to dermatological lessons 2. Disturbed body image related to visible skin changes 3. Risk for infection related to skin breakdown 4. Anxiety related to chronic condition and cosmetic appearance. 5. Knowledge deficit related to disease process and management. Then management. Medical management. 1. Topical corticosteroids to reduce inflammation. 2. Intralesional steroid injections for localized lessons. 3. Systemic medications such as hydroxychloroquine for widespread disease. 4. Phototherapy, narrowband UVB for extensive cases, 5 biological agents, emerging treatments for severe or refractory cases, nursing management 1. Educate the patients on skin care and avoiding triggers to support emotional well-being and body image. 3. Monitoring for signs of infection or systemic disease. 4. Encourage adherence to prescribed treatments. 5. Provide resources for counseling or support groups. Treatment options. 1. Observation for asymptomatic localized lessons that may resolve spontaneously. 2. Topical treatments, corticosteroids or calcinorin inhibitors. 3. Systemic therapies for generalized or Refractory causes for laser therapy, fractional laser, laser for cosmetic improvement, five surgical 
excision for subcutaneous nodules psychosocial medicine one counseling for body image concerns to support groups for patients with chronic skin conditions three stress management techniques such as mindfulness four psycho education on disease and prognosis five cognitive behavioral therapy for anxiety or depression prevention one avoiding trauma or skin injuries to managing underlying systemic diseases such as diabetes three regular dermatological checkups for early detection and management four proper skin hydration and care to minimize irritation five educating patients about potential triggers in conclusion granuloma annulari is a chronic benign skin condition with diverse clinical presentations while it is often self limiting the condition may requires targeted medical and nursing interventions to manage symptoms and improve the quality of life a holistic approach including psychosocial support is essential for addressing the physical and emotional aspects of disease thank you have a nice day